welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 mum survival tips. And this video was originally going to be called how to get organized this New Year's. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that although I am quite organized, I am never gonna be that kind of mum who has a color-coded diary or post-it notes up everywhere. I do things to survive. As a busy mum of three who also works, I just need to do things that make my life simple. And I think that's the same for lots of other mums out there. So today I'm gonna to share with you my top 10 tips of things that I do to survive. And they are all achievable. They are things that you could implement today, tomorrow, that would make a massive difference. So I really hope you like them. Let's get into it. So my first tip is to meal plan. This can make such a difference to your week. And I have actually made a dedicated meal planning video in the past, so I will link that down below. But one meal plan hack that we really like to do is to use HelloFresh. We have used HelloFresh for years and I just love how simple and fuss free they are to use. If you don't know what they are, they are basically a food subscription box. So all you have to do is go online, order a box for the week and it comes delivered direct to your door with everything that you're going to need for three to four, I think even five meals per week. So you will get a recipe card and then individual bags of all the ingredients that you will need for a recipe and what I love about it is that it's all pre-proportioned so there is no wastage all you get sent is exactly what you're gonna need we normally get a family box but they also have a new one which is called the rapid box which means their simple recipes take just 20 minutes in that box so if you are someone who doesn't have loads of time on them the rapid box would be perfect for you so if you haven't tried it before I have a code for you if you use the code fresh start three that will get Get you 50% off your first HelloFresh box, but also 50% off your second HelloFresh box. So I will put all the links in the description bar below. As I said, we love it, and just meal planning in general is so great. And what we do in this house is we save all of the HelloFresh recipe cards, and then we can remake them whenever we want to as well. And then I will often look through those when I am meal planning. My next tip is to shop online whenever you can as a busy mum. So once I have meal planned and ordered my HelloFresh box. I can go online and order any other things that I need from the supermarket. I love Amazon Prime. I use that so much for birthday party presents or any like fancy dress days the kids have at school. I just love how easy it is and I don't have to drag the kids around the shops. Another tip is to batch cook. So if we aren't having a HelloFresh meal one night and I'm cooking, I always think, can I double it? Can I triple it? Can I quadruple it? Like how much of this can I make? Because it's so much easier to just make more and freeze it or keep it in the fridge for another meal. Sometimes I will make a chili that will feed about 12 people and just freeze them in individual portions. And then if I want to have a healthy lunch, I can have one. Or if Matt's out one night, I can just have it for dinner myself. Cook as much as you can and then you will be so grateful that you did on the nights that you eat it. My next tip is to create routines. And I feel like I say this all the time on my channel, but I love having a routine because then I know what I'm doing and more than that, the kids know what they're doing and then they feel secure. So if you don't currently have a routine and you want to start one, I will link some examples of ours down below because I have made lots of routine videos in the past. If you do start a routine or change yours slightly and the kids don't take to it straight away, don't be disheartened. Apparently it takes 21 days to create a habit. So just give it a few weeks and then the kids will be completely in the flow with it. A good example of this is we recently changed our children's toothpaste. So I didn't think it would be a big deal, but they really were unsure about this new toothpaste that our dentist recommended. But a couple of weeks in, it's just the norm now and they're totally fine with it. My next tip is to get everything ready the night before and set yourself up for a much smoother morning. So whatever your kids are gonna need, lay it all out. If it's clothes, school uniform, karate kit, show and tell, whatever it is, get it ready. Even snacks, pack lunches, etc. I also lay out what I'm going to wear the next day and I even get the baby bag ready because all of those things take time. And having three kids, I never really know how well the night is going to go. So if we're tired or we have a bit of a crazy morning, at least all of that is already ready. For my next tip, I wanted to talk about cleaning. So cleaning for me is all about speed and divide and conquer. I will link my speed cleaning videos down below because I think there is so much that you can do in a 15 minute speed clean 
or a power hour. That is how I keep my house clean. But I also divide things up as much as I possibly can. I get the kids to help me put their clothes away. Matt is amazing with helping with the laundry and things like that. And we have also hired a professional cleaner once a week and they blitz our house. And honestly, it's my favorite day of the week. But I think more than all this, as mums with young children, we do just need to accept that our houses are not gonna be perfect for a while. So I think if your house is pretty hygienic and tidy, you're doing a good job. And while we're talking about cleaning, I also wanted to tell you guys about something called the One Touch Method, because since I heard about it, it has stuck in my head and it totally works. So as I'm going about my day and doing things or putting things away, or even when I walk in from being outside, I always think one touch. So if I walk in the door and I go to put my coat on the couch, rather than putting it on the couch, I think no, one touch, and then I go and I hang it up because that means I am only having to touch it once, which actually cuts down on how much I clean. So it's basically encouraging you to put things away. And if I take my shoes off, I think one touch and I put them away in the shoe drawer rather than leaving them on the floor. And similarly, if I go to take a dish off of the dining table, I don't then leave it on the kitchen counter. I am still holding it and I put it into the dishwasher because then that is one touch. There is no point in moving a dish from the dining table to the side, to the sink, to the dishwasher. That is what I used to do and I don't know why. So just have that in your head, one touch, and honestly, it's so effective. I'm even trying to teach it to the boys. My next tip is to declutter regularly. I don't know why, but the word minimalism scares me a bit. When I think I need to minimalize, I think, oh, I'm gonna have to get childcare for the kids and take a whole weekend and minimalize everything. So that kind of scares me, but I can totally handle decluttering because I think that can take about 15 minutes. So what I do now is go about my day and if I have a spare 15 minutes, I'll think, right, I'll declutter this whole drawer. And honestly, I've been chucking out so much more since I've been doing it regularly. Clearing out this shoe cupboard took five minutes 17. So not much at all. My next tip is to schedule fun. And I know that makes me sound like a real party pooper, but honestly, it's been great for us. If we can schedule in time where our whole focus is on the children, it's good for everyone. So we have a Friday night movie night. So we get popcorn, we watch a film as a family, and we also have Sunday morning, like lazy mornings as well, where we can all like chill out, play board games and toys and things like that. And we'll also schedule in like fun days out so that we always have things to look forward to. And my last tip is to get all of your family admin done and get as much as you can into your diary. So with my son's schools, they actually put their calendars online. So what I do at the beginning of each term is I go online and I copy down everything they have coming up in the next term, just so I feel more organized. I can order things that they're gonna need for like science day or fancy dress day, you know how it is. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed these survival tips. And if you have any more, please put them in the comments down below because you guys always have the best suggestions. And yeah, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out their discount code, again, it is in the description bar down below. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.